Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the mess hall here at Dr. Jet Laboratories. I'm looking out the window now, and you can see the American spirit is languishing there in the hammock, waiting for the sun to come out. Right now we have late night and early morning low coastal clouds and fog generally clearing by noon temperatures in the 70s on the coast, 80s inland, 90s inland valleys, deserts, and hundreds. That's the weather report for Southern California 200 days out of the year. <laughs> we have all learned that by heart. Anyway, the spirit's out there languishing on the uh, hammock. And one of my, uh, 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 one of my viewers, uh, one of my special viewers, I'm, I'm looking for the right word, but, uh, you know, you have some viewers that are dedicated. One of my dedicated viewers commented about cases. Now, for the most part, I keep all of my boats in a case, and... I also keep all my expensive guitars in a case. And the reason for that is you don't want the outside of whatever's in here to touch the inside of the world. So if you can separate, you know, your object, be it a boat or a guitar or, you know, a flute, and you don't want the outside of your flute touching the inside of the world, you put it in a case. So. That's what I want to talk about today is cases. For my little boats, for the most part, you can find a briefcase, a suitcase, some camera case. In the case of that uh, uh, little catamaran, I used a telephoto lens case. But when you get up into the bigger boats, it's harder to find something that works. Now, in the guitar world, we have guitar cases and we also have gig bags. Now, a gig bag is basically a canvas bag with a zipper on it contoured to fit your guitar. Now, a lot of people don't like them because you can still break the guitar inside the gig bag. But that's what this is. This is a canvas bag, and I see them on sale. There's, there's guys that actually dedicated making them to fit boats this was for some sort of a, a, a camera tripod. And in fact, it's the same bag as I used for the systems. And here's what I did. And then here's one, what I've heard, I haven't actually seen other folks doing. So I made an internal structure here. Let's see if I can set this down without screwing something up. I made an internal structure out of EPP foam. This is not EPS foam. This is expanded polypropylene. The, the stuff that's the little balls you can crumble up and it's brittle is expanded polystyrene, EPS. This is EPP. This is what they make combat airplanes out of. And, you know, you fly them full speed into another airplane, they go and bounce off. <laughs> so I used EPP foam just because it's much neater when it's done. The little balls, it still has all the little balls, but they don't roll off. So here's what I did. And then what I would recommend on your case. I built a frame to fit this gig bag, and then I put dividers and things inside to hold everything in place. On the systems, I didn't put this piece on the top because I made something to hold the boat down in other ways. This, you know, this will hold, uh, holds the whole hull down. I made a separate stand that the boat can stand on Outside of this, you don't have to do that. So that's just a couple of ideas thrown out there, what you can do. Now, I'll tell you what else I've seen, and it's worthy of some thought. Everybody's seen the ubiquitous boat stand made out of PVC pipe, you know, and it's got some of that 
pull noodle foam that the boat sits on and it's just made out of PVC. Well, guys are making a PVC frame that fits inside here. So imagine you have a PVC frame that fits in here and then in the frame you would make various cross members that would saddle your boat and you know, some straps to tie it down so it wouldn't move around. So you would have this PVC frame with your boat securely strapped inside of it and then just covered with this gig bag. So there's a couple ideas. I'll tell you, I really like keeping the boats in a case like this. I've got a boat that I built in 2006. So that makes it, what, 18 years old? And it looks like the day it came out of the stink bug works. <laughs> Other than maybe a little corrosion, but... So, it makes it easy to transport. You don't bash them around transporting. Hanger rash is one of the, the biggest problems for any of these RC models. So you keep them in a case they stay nice and clean. And, and my routine is you run them, you bring them in, you clean them, you dry them, you prep them, and you, you prep them for the next lake, lake run, and you put them back in your case and you put it up. That way you know when you pull it down, it's basically ready to go. Yeah, you might want to freshen up a drop of oil here and a smear of grease there. But for the most part, you're ready to go. So... There you go, Dr. Jet rants about cases. Yeah, people poo-poo me about the cases, saying, oh, man. And you know what? <laughs> I have really old boats. Uh, until next time, Jet out.